For the last year, New Brunswick has claimed its provincial jails are stretched to beyond capacity. And it's one of the key reasons the government says it needs to spend $38 million to build a new jail in the Fredericton area. But the province has quietly changed the way it counts the number of people in jail, leading some to question the need for the new facility. Let's uh, welcome Carissa Donkin, who's with our investigative unit in the Atlantic region, and she's in Fredericton this morning. Carissa, welcome. What is the province doing differently when it comes to counting here? Well, Heather, for years, uh, the government has counted the number of people actually physically in jails. And these numbers have appeared in the department's annual reports going back as far as 2012. But now the government is also counting people who are serving their sentences in the community. So these are people who may have to go to jail if they breach the conditions placed upon them. And it makes it seem like the jails have more people in them than they actually do. So I'll give you an example, Heather. The government's new way of doing math makes it seem like there were five 512 people physically present in the New Brunswick male correctional system on average as of December 31st. That would be more than 40 people over capacity on average. But in reality, there were eight people over capacity on average. So quite a stark difference there. And I spoke with criminal law professor Adelina Iftene, who says it's an unusual way of doing math. Not only that it's an improper way of calculating capacity, but it's actually a very problematic way of engaging with the goals and um, of criminal justice and all the recent recommendations that have come out at all different levels um, in terms of how we should reform and improve criminal justice and, and bring it closer to the justice part of, uh, of the criminal justice, right? So there, Carissa, is one voice saying there are problems with the province's plan. Why does New Brunswick say it needs to build a new jail? Right. So, Heather, there's two main arguments that we've heard from the New Brunswick government. One is that the system is is over capacity, as you said, beyond capacity. Um, we've also heard from the province that crime is on the rise in New Brunswick. But experts who I spoke to, including, you know, the expert we just heard from, uh, say that building a, a new jail is not going to make New Brunswick any safer. And they say that putting uh, that money into community resources, into things like mental health care, addiction care, um, into housing would do more to reduce crime. But those expert opinions haven't swayed the New Brunswick government. You know, this concept that, that you know, we, we should just not build any more jails and stop putting people in jail. Um, look, it, it, it's a great concept, but in reality, it, it just it just doesn't make sense because what we're doing is we're just going to allow people to continue to break laws with, with no repercussions. And, and I don't see how that's going to make the public safer. So, Heather, we just heard from our public safety minister there. And the important context here is that this provincial government under Premier Blaine Higgs has adopted um, a real tough on crime mentality with a previous public safety minister even saying um, he wants to declare war on people responsible for illegal drugs. Carissa, thank you for this. Good to see you this morning from Fredericton. Carissa Donkin there and again, part of our investigative unit. You can read more about her reporting online, how the province's math on inmates over the years lines up with the numbers of people actually in prison. It's up at cbcnews.ca.